the odds, week 17, another winning week last week. We have had winning weeks every week but two, so it's a good time to hop on. Those of you new to the show, subscribe, drop a comment, check it out. We are 64% against the spread this year. That's making some good money. Season standings, uh, Sean finally overtook Story. We have Sean at 31-15-3, Story 31-16-1. I am 28 and 20, and Joe 25 and 23. All of us are over 500. Let's finish strong. Let's hit the phones. Hey, Rob, this is Mike Story from Sports Betting Intel. Calling in with my picks this week. Listen, it was a bad week last week. I'm not happy with it, but let's close it out strong. I've got three picks for you today. First one, and I cannot believe this total is so low. Bucks, Saints, over 41 and a half at minus 118 on DraftKings. This game screams over to me. I think this is the sneaky shootout of the week. The Buccaneers' defense is very, very bad. They're allowing the most receiving yards per game to wide receivers this year, as well as the fourth most yards and fifth most receptions to tight ends. I could see a lot of guys going over the total. At the same time, the Buccaneers need to get Mike Evans the ball. He's been on an absolute tear this year, and Chris Godwin has come on as of late. So for me, this game is over 41.5 Buccaneers Saints. The next one is Nico Collins over 58 and a half receiving yards. Now this one was 56 and a half when I texted you about it earlier in the week, but it's 58 and a half now. But we'll go with that. It's minus 115 on DraftKings. This also feels like a smash spot to me. CJ Stroud is back from his two game absence after concussion. Still no tank Dell this year. He's obviously out for the year. It's a ceiling matchup spot for Nico Collins in a very plus matchup. He went over this number in 7 out of 11 full games with CJ Stroud this year. It was a little limit this week, but we know Noah Brown is very hit and miss. If he's not facing, then I'd see a lot of work going to Nico Collins and the Titans do allow a ton of yards to wide receivers. So Nico Collins over 58 and a half receiving yards. And then finally, I'm going to go with a guy that's been very consistent year over year last few years. It's been a little rough with injuries this year, but Cooper Cup over 69 and a half receiving yards at minus 115 on DraftKings. Cup is a monster when he has been playing with Matthew Stafford, and the Giants play very a man defense at the league's highest rate, which creates a lot of pass funnel for wide receivers. The particular Cup should get open. Plus, we have Puka Nakua a little banged up, so I could see more work going to Cup in general. So over 69 and a half receiving yards. That's it for me this week. Let's get it back. Good luck. Let's make some money. All right, moving over to Sean Gocher. You can find him on Twitter at Crush the Book. All right, happy Friday. I went short and sweet here. Two picks. I believe I have four left uh, on the year. So we'll go with two. Pick one. Houston Texans minus four in DraftKings. We all know I don't like Tennessee. It's a it's a spot for Houston. They need to win. They need to win. I think they're they're going to match up great with Stroud coming back, and uh, I think it's a blowout. To be honest. Uh, next, I'm going to go with Saturday's game. Take the Cowboys minus five and a half. Um, I don't think Goff can handle that defense. He's multiple turnovers against terrible defenses. Um, I don't think he uh, he has a good game. I think they I think they get taken to the woodshed on that one. Um, minus five and a half, minus one fifteen on DraftKings. Good luck. What's up, everybody? Hopefully, everyone had a Merry Christmas and have a happy new year coming up here this weekend. Hard to believe that the season's almost over, but hopefully you've been tailing us because we've been on fire. I've been on a roll the second half of the year as well. Back above 500, plan to stay there. Let's go. First pick is going to be over 49 and a half receiving yards for George Kittle. Um, not much really to explain here. Uh, 49ers hope to bounce back versus the Commanders. Uh, George Kittle has been on absolute fire. Uh, even if Purdy goes out with another stinger, or if he's not 100% healthy at some point during the game, he could be a safety outlet for Sam Darnold as well. Kittle, over 49.5 receiving yards at minus 115. Second pick is going to be over 56.5 receiving yards for Devontae Smith at home versus the Arizona Cardinals, Battle of the Birds. Uh, Devontae Smith has been on fire as well lately, so he's definitely racking up the yardage. I think 56.5 is a low attainable number for him at minus 110. Third and final pick to go three for three is going to be an alternate over, over 46.5 total points 
Miami Dolphins at Baltimore Ravens at minus 120. Both of these teams can put up mad points. That's the only reason I'm doing it. They both have good defense as well. Weather's going to be good in Baltimore. I think that if they're on their games on the offensive side of the ball, they could definitely go over 46 and a half total points. So there we have it. Three for three. Keep tailing. Let's go. Thank you, Joe. Moving over to my picks. First prop, I have Drake London over 43 and a half receiving yards. They are at Chicago. Weather doesn't look terrible. That's a really low number. I like Heineke with Drake London more than I liked uh, that piece of shit Desmond Ritter. Love that prop. Next play, I have Jonathan Taylor over 91.5 rushing and receiving yards. Zach Moss is ruled out. He's the only show in town. Raiders defense has been pretty stout, but I see this as a ground and pound kind of game for the Colts in a game they need. They're going to give him all the work he can handle. Last play, Justin Watson over 22.5 receiving yards. Chiefs need this game. Bengals secondary is atrocious. He's playing 70% of the snaps. He is the second uh, receiver there. They're going to try to cover Kelsey, and I see Justin Watson having a couple big plays downfield. Make sure you make these bets, tail these plays. The last couple weeks, we're going to bring it home. Let's keep on beating the odds. We're beating the odds. We're beating the odds.